Hello everyone, my name is BJ, and today I'll be giving you a little update on my piston reed harvester, um, as you can see here. Now, um, one of the first things I noticed from a video Joker HD did was that um, adding a waterfall actually makes the reeds, um, the water actually pushes the reeds down at a faster rate than the reeds fall. So by doing that you can get uh, faster harvesting done. As you can see here, when the pistons are pushed, they go straight into the waterfall and are pushed down all the way into the water stream. Um, the second thing I noticed is that you can um, link two of these together using the exact same redstone, putting one on the opposite side as the other. Very easy, very simple, um, great thing to do. You get double the reeds. And the third thing I tried to do was... Um, fit a lot of these towers into uh, a little compact area. So as you can see here, a double piston reed harvester. And over here is the start of another double piston reed harvester. And uh, as you can see in this one, with the reeds being right here, um, the reeds would actually get pushed into this water stream that is two blocks wide instead of just one. Because when it's just one block wide, um, the reeds will get pushed and they will get pushed through the water stream and over into the next reed farm which is not what we want so if you just add two right there um, it, it, creepy music um, so if you just add two right there uh, it will only push like maybe four or five reeds over into here I actually have this glass block so when I show you this in action you can actually see how many um, reeds fall over here. I also uh, took away the side blocks, trying to conserve as many blocks as I could um, by taking away these side areas over here, over here, and over here I took away a side block. So uh, a few reeds do get stuck on those, but um, not very many. Here I'll show you uh, exactly how many reeds get stuck in different spots. So, uh, here we go. A ton of them just went into the water stream. Um, over here, let's see, how many do we have? Let's collect. We got four. Four over here. That's, that's nothing. One level of these is supposed to give you 16 reeds. So, uh, over here, what do we got? Nine. So, five and four. It's not even ten. Not even... Well, I guess it is half of a floor, but it's very, very little in the scale of how many reeds you're actually going to get. About the same amount of reeds over here from like three to six or so. Um, and then over here, this is what I'm talking about. Very, very few of the reeds actually do get pushed over here, uh, but some of them do. As you can see, in this case, it's four. Um, very, very little. So there's little, little areas all over this place that, like, very little reeds get caught in but that's just I'm conserving blocks doing this way so I think it's a it's a reasonable sacrifice I mean sacrifice a few reeds to not use a ton more glass um, I think that's reasonable but hey you know you can do whatever if you put blocks on the sides you'll never get those reeds caught there um, but yeah that's basically how to compact these towers Double piston reed farm there, double piston reed farm there, double piston reed farm here, double piston reed farm here, and I guess if you really, really want a lot of reeds, you could put one at the end out here somewhere, and one at the end over there, and uh, you could just keep making these towers, but uh, yeah, you get a ton of reeds doing this. As you can see, our collection pit is a 2x2 two two square. Come down here. Yep about three stacks of reeds and that's only with one double reed harvester and that one's not even very tall so yeah that's that's my new updates to the piston reed harvester and uh, you get a ton more reeds you can compact the towers and uh, you'll get tons more bookcases maps and uh, a lot more cake too using this so I'll see you later